So our original program at Ujama was essentially a rural program where we were going out there to challenge the context of natural resource exploitation, the conflict around human and wildlife, the lack of uh, benefit from tourism, which is a huge uh, you know, sector there, and that the locals were not you know, gaining anything from it was a key concern for us. So our decision was to organize communities first to understand these issues, because one of the things we knew from the start was most of the communities there lacked political agency with which they could confront these issues. And we were lucky to, to get very uh, generous support from Big Lottery uh, in the UK uh, that essentially made us look like we've been around for 10 years. Because <laughs> I think money, there's a way money does <laughs> some of these things. And so for three years we were able to work in 300 villages uh, in, in Kuala County, current Kuala County and Kilifi. And, and this uh, started some kind of a very radical program uh, never seen before uh, in the region. And our approach was to look for community workers in each of those villages who live and who are life and blood members of those villages. And we're calling them community mobilizers. What we did was to give them very solid training. We needed folks who are in the village, folks who can wear gum boots and soil their fingers and you know make the kind of noise uh, that needed to be made. And for, for about two years we were calling it inciting, because we needed to incite communities to really change you know, uh, perceptions and comfort for a large majority of uh, people who are in government. Now, a lot of folks in government uh, apparently also happen to be the landowners. And so in a sense, we stepped on you know, several toes. We landed into quite a bit of problems with the police and the administration as it was then. But that was part of the, the, the delivery that we knew, yes, there were dangers, there were difficulties we would face, and we prepared the group to be able to face those challenges. Uh, thanks to the networking between you know, the non-state institutions, uh, those institutions that had lawyers uh, came in handy whenever there were issues with the law. Uh, because one of, our, one of our strong thesis was that the law, as it as it was constructed and drafted in Africa wasn't useful. And so we thought disobeying you know, bad laws was part of what we needed to do. What that work did was to essentially pull the rural households you know, out of the sort of ordinary development work into advocacy and activistic work. 